I've been looking for you. So nice to see you. Welcome to my house and welcome to my table. I have the coffee ready and the cookies and a little visit will do us both good. I want to talk to you this afternoon about a wonderful lady in the Bible. She was a mighty woman of God. We've been talking about the International Women's Day. And I thought to myself, I know a lot of women that are wonderful. And as far as the Father is concerned, you all are special. So I read in Judges chapter five about the song of Deborah. She was a prophetess. She was a judge. And she was involved in a mighty victory. And after the victory, she sang this song. And it's very beautiful. So I'm gonna just talk about a couple of things here. So let's go look at Judges, chapter five and verse 21. March on, my soul, be strong. March on, my soul, be strong. And this is Deborah after the victory, not before, but after. So when I thought, we've been in this pandemic one year, and what God says to us is, march on. We've come a long way. God has brought us safely through, but there's still more ahead and we need to march on. So that's Deborah's. She said, march on my soul, be strong. I know a lot of strong women, women that love God. I know women in Mexico who are actively involved in God's work alone. They're either a widow or a single woman, but they're marching on. Nothing is stopping them. One of the women I know is a nurse. She has cared for COVID patients. She cares for church, and not only one church, but several. She also shares the word of God. She's marching on. And you know, it doesn't matter if you're single, you're a widow, married, Deborah was married, she had a husband, but she's marching on. She's a strong woman. Sometime in your life, there's coming a time when God is gonna require from you to simply march on and do something that you've never done before. I can't help but think of my grandmother. I'm named for her. Claire, she was a strong woman in Norway, and she was a widow. During the Second World War, the Nazis came and they were gonna set up a, a camp on the island where she lived. She decided to march. She decided she needed a little bit of courage and God gave it to her. She went and talked personally to those in charge that were setting up that camp. And she said, there's no need for you to come here. We're mainly women here and children. There's no need at all for you to set up a camp here. Guess what? They didn't. They moved on. But grandma had courage and she marched on. <clears throat> the day may come when you're gonna have to make a decision. Are you gonna do something unusual? Are you gonna speak up for your faith? Are you gonna speak up for God? Are you gonna be a volunteer when no one else wants to do something? Are you gonna say, I'll help, I'll march on. I'll help. Women have done that for centuries. 
women have been a good, strong example, and they've chosen to march on. So I choose to be like grandma. And at 54, I went back to school and it was hard. I was studying to be a nurse and I told my husband, I want to quit. And he said to me, you are named for your grandmother. She stood up against the Nazis. She didn't quit. I didn't either. I didn't quit. Let's be one of those that don't quit. It's easy to quit, but let's be one of those that puts on your shoes and marches on. So Deborah sang this song. I wondered what the melody was. I remember a song we used to sing when I was a girl. <clears throat> marching on, we are marching on, marching on, always marching on, marching on. And we can't stop. We can't lie down in the road. We can't look back. Keep going, keep going ahead, marching on with a flag unfurled, marching, marching on. The flag, the flag, the Christian flag, and then the flag of our beloved country. Are you willing to step up and be like Deborah? Would you be willing to be like my grandma and speak up for Norway? Say you don't have to come here. We're peaceful people and they didn't. So there's a, let's look down at the, at the end of this chapter. Verse 31. So may all your enemies perish, O Lord, but may though they who love you be like the sun when it rises in its strength. And then you know what it says. There's a wonderful little phrase there. Then the Lord had peace. The land had peace for 40 years. That's a wonderful verse. Sometimes you think, will anything ever be normal again? Will anything ever be straightened out? We are in a mess, but let's march on. Let's march on. And if we have an opportunity to speak up, speak up for what's right. Speak up for what's biblical. Speak up, don't be afraid. Speak up, we have courage. March forward. Let's pray. We need strong women, strong women. I'm not saying it's not good to be all so beautiful, but strong women who have strong convictions, strong foundations in the Word of God and who are not afraid to wait to step up and do what's right. I'm gonna be one of those. I wanna join this crew. I think I probably don't march as good as I used to, maybe 30, 40 years ago, but I'm going to. I'm gonna keep marching, even if I have to use a cane. <laughs> Let's march forward, always forward. Let's pray together. God will give us strength. Father, we desire to be strong women of God. We desire to be strong this time of, in our lives. We desire to be one of those who would be not afraid to speak up. Speak up for my Lord and speak up for my country. Thank you, Father, that you've given us this help. You said you're not alone. I'm marching right beside you. Look, look, you're not alone. There are many who are marching too. Bless us, Lord, and make us strong. In the name of Jesus, amen.